Hello, hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how I make this beet, apple, carrot, and ginger juice. I've made it once before, but I thought I would show you how I make it um, on video today. I have a sieve basket in here, in a bowl. I'm going to use a spatula to um, express the juice. I have in my blender two cups of filtered water. And for my fruit ingredients, I have carrots. These are three carrots. I have a multicolored carrot bag, so I have an orange or yellow and a purple carrot. Um, I cut them really nice and small. I have one medium size and one small beet cut into pieces. I have about four inches of ginger also cut into pieces. And then I have four apples, two medium sized Granny Smith and um, two, well, two large um, Fuji apples. I did the Granny Smith for some tartness. You can feel free to use all sweet or use all tart, um, whatever your taste is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into my blender. I'm going to start with my apples since they'll be the easiest to blend. I don't have a juicer, so I decided to try this in the blender um, a week ago or so, and it turned out nice, so um, this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to fill that up, and then I'm going to blend, and then I have to sieve. Um, I saved the pulp from my last batch um, to use in my green smoothies, and it turned out nice, so I'm going to do the same for this batch. My blender is full, so I'm going to just go ahead and blend what I have right now. And we'll blend the second batch. So let's go. I'm gonna start with chop, just to give it a nice um, chop before I puree it. to add some more of the hard stuff like the carrots and the beets and ginger and put it back on chop. Beets are a, are a natural colorant so my hands are a little red because <laughs> I didn't wash them off quick enough but they'll come off at some point. So we're gonna give this a shake and I'm going to Okay, I think that's good enough. That's what it looks like. I'm going to pour it in my basket. Ooh, it smells good. <laughs> I will leave it there to drain, and then I'll blend the rest of the stuff. I didn't make this much the last time, but I'm going to give some of this to my mother, so. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow's Mother's Day. All right, I'm gonna get some water. So for this, I have about a cup of water, and we're gonna do the same thing, chop and then puree. blender because she is powerful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that in the basket as well. All right, I will rinse that out later. So this is draining and I'm going to drain it 
you know, as dry as I can. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I have gotten my first batch of juice and I'm going to go ahead and straight it over my, my other sieve and get out whatever other pulp I don't want. And I just made a mess. Um, like I said, these are a natural colorant. So, be careful if you're wearing white. Maybe you don't want to do so. But anyway, here's my juice. If you like it with pulp, you know, leave as much pulp as you want in it. Process, but you know, do what you need to do for your health. So, and if you have a juicer, then phew, even better. <laughs> Let's get all that juice out. There it is. Whoa, I made a mess. <laughs> when I say natural colorant, that's what I mean. So you see that white paper towel. And I don't know if beet juice stains come off, so just be careful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour my juice into my glass bottle to go in the fridge. right now so guys go ahead and try this drink to your health a glass of beet carrot apple and ginger juice enjoy <laughs> 